Browsing here is natural with touch-first browsing. So MetroStyle Internet Explorer delivers plug-in free browsing, relying on the power of HTML5 so that it's possible to experience the safest and most reliable browsing e available. So for example, people spend a lot of time watching videos on the web. So here's that same video that we were looking at earlier on the big screen uh, running here in HTML5. This is the power of an HTML5 video. The new MetroStyle browser takes advantage of hardware acceleration to offer a great playback experience. So what you just saw is a small slice of Windows 8 with so much more to come. Windows 8 will offer a no compromise experience, the best of consumption and creation, of portability and power, of new and familiar. And we're excited to show you more as our Windows 8 work continues. As we talked about in December, our next big Windows 8 milestone on the path to availability will come in late February. We hope you'll download it and check it out. So what we have coming in the future with Windows 8 is exciting. And we also have a lot of very cool things going on today. And nowhere is this more um, illustrated than through the range of stunning PCs that are available uh, right now. So I wanted to take just a very brief moment and give you a closer look at two of these ultra-portable new PCs that Steve was talking about that were announced earlier today. So here is this new HP NV14 Spectra Ultrabook. And it's very attractive with a glass design that's incredibly durable. And the sound, awesome, beats audio. This is a great PC for music lovers. And then we've got this next generation, Samsung Series 9. It's stunning. It's less than 13 millimeters thick and weighs just over two and a half pounds. One great thing I'll also add is it's now available in 15-inch. And this is really the first 15-inch ultra-portable that I've gotten to play with, and it is incredible. So check that one out um, as well. And then in addition to the PCs we have on display here, Dell is planning an announcement tomorrow about another amazing new ultrabook. So please uh, watch for that and check it out. This is the perfect time to get a new Windows PC. Windows 7 today, Windows 8 tomorrow. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Stephen Ryan. Thank you, thank you. Good luck with the New Year's resolution. The mac and cheese looks good right about now, too, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Amazing demos, amazing machines. Well, you, you know, Windows 7 is the best-selling operating system of all time. 500 million users on the planet for Windows 7. Uh, we're licensing about seven new copies a second, and by my calculation, I think that means by the time we wrap up today, there's probably 25,000 new Windows 7 users on this planet. That's pretty good, dude. I'm, I'm guessing, that's pretty I'm good, dude. Math is right. That is pretty good. It's that, impressive. That's pretty and, good. And, and all those PCs up there will run Windows 8? Every Windows 7 PC will be ready for Windows 8 on day one. So these 3 million people who have already come to our website and downloaded the Windows 8 preview, boom, they can do it from any Windows PC uh, ever made. Good news, good news. Pretty exciting, and uh, we've covered a lot so far, so what we should do, it's time to check in with the thousands and thousands of people in the room and watching online. Many of you are tweeting away, and we're curious to know what you might be saying. So to interpret all of this for us, please welcome the Tweet Choir. Come on, let's hear from the Tweet Choir.
and watch the LSU Bama game. I watch the micro saucy ES Kino. Hashtag nerd alert. Like to vote for the tweet choir, please dial 1 866 idols O. Wrong stage. Well, you got one in, bud. Wrong stage. Wrong stage. All right, all right. Very, very cool. And uh, to see them do that live, fascinating. So uh, let's keep moving. Ten years ago, Steve, if I were to walk up to somebody on the street and, and say Xbox to them, they would probably give me a, a blank stare. Uh, but now Xbox is uh, at the forefront of, of games and entertainment. Did you expect to go from ground zero to a household name when you set out to, to do this a decade ago? Yes. I was optimistic. <laughs> I was bullish. I was patient. All of the above. You know, in a sense, Xbox kind of represents the best of a part of our DNA that we're really proud about. We make these big, bold bets. We invest for the long term. And we make exciting things happen. And we're 10 years later. We're the world sales leader in the last year for consoles, which is exciting as heck. We have over 66 million Xbox users. And perhaps the most amazing thing is we have over 40 million Xbox Live subscribers tuning in on a regular basis for a variety of different entertainment experiences. Some for games, mostly in the last year or so, for a lot of family entertainment, and increasingly in the last months, and with some of what you show you today, really an entertainment hub for live TV, on-demand, videos, movies, news, social, music, and of course still games, right. but morphing, changing. So did I expect it 10 years ago? No, nah, but I bet on it 10 years ago. And that I'm excited about that. I like that. I like that. So a little bit of everything there. Uh, are we going to get a chance to see it? I think we can show you a little bit here. You know, we've done some things to try to make it just beautifully easy yeah. to put you and to deliver the entertainment that you want with the people you care about and, Ryan, and make it easy. So when you, when you say easy, 
Let, let's talk about that for a second. It seems like you guys are you're doing new things, offering a different kind of entertainment experience. Would that be? I think that's accurate? a fair way to say it. Yeah, I, th I think, and what we'll show you tonight, I think is, think is even more different, even more different. Connect is certainly a big part of this. Uh, it's a leading example of what we all like to call natural user interface, where the technology kind of disappears and it's just you and what you say and what you do and how you act that the computer's interpreting and making decisions. Uh, we've shipped over 18 million, in essentially a little over a year, over 18 million of these Connect sensors. And I think Connect, particularly as we now integrate Bing, which you're so familiar with, into the Xbox and Connect experience, it'll really transform the TV experience. You just say it, and Xbox goes and finds it for you. Say it, and it finds it for you. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look. Please welcome to the stage Craig Davison from Microsoft's Xbox team to show us what's new on Xbox. Thanks, Ryan. You're looking at the new Xbox experience launched in December, where all of your entertainment, games, movies, TV, music, and friends live in one place, where the new Metro design is central to the experience, where the only controller you'll need is your voice, where you can ask Bing to quickly discover the content you want, and where you'll find on-demand and live TV. Let me show you the magic of voice with Connect. Xbox, apps, video, games, music, social. There's all the people I care about. Games. My games. Simply by using my voice, I can quickly pull up games like Gears 3 or Connect Games where I can burn a hole in the dance floor, fly through Disneyland, or throw the touchdown pass with Connect Sports Season 2. And now with Bing, you say it, and Xbox finds it. Xbox, Bing Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. A single voice command, and I can search across everything available now on Xbox, movies, TV shows, games, soundtracks, they're all there. How about another search? Xbox, Bing Star Trek. Yeah, it's true, by the way, I'm a total trekker. And there's the movie I'm looking for. Xbox, Star Trek. We just searched across the entire Xbox catalog to find the providers who offer this movie. You can't get this kind of actionable discovery anywhere else. But discovery on Xbox, well, it's about more than just titles. What if you want to search by actor or director? No problem. Xbox, Bing Josh Dumel. I started watching Josh in Transformers Dark of the Moon last night, and I want to resume where I left off. 